Hey guys, uh, I'm interviewing uh, Dimitri with uh, Cambium and uh, we're talking about some of the new EPMP stuff they've come out with. Uh, they have several announcements recently. Uh, and uh, so yeah, uh, what, uh, what do you guys have new that's over here? Yeah, sure. So it's uh, our EPMP 1000 product line. What we have here is our old well known access point. And here we have the new subscriber model we just released, which is called Force 180. It will only replace at some point our integrated subscribers we have right now. It has 3 dB beta gain antenna with a narrow beam with the very low side loads uh, with the subscriber. It has built one gigabit Ethernet port. And uh, another unit we have here is our new dish called Force 200. And uh, the guys who are using uh, EPMP for a long time, they know our uh, previous antenna, Force 110. And it was really a big pain to assemble. So this one is way easier to use. Uh, it's basically with the radio inside, the gigabit of very, very easy to assemble. Uh, yeah, it's a, good, no, on that, uh, I've had one of those for about five or six months now, and uh, it is significantly better to assemble. Um, they really did a good job on that one. Uh, right now it's available for 2.4 gig, and 5 gig version will be available somewhere in December. And we are shipping this one, Force 180, it's already available from all our other webinars. In uh, during some previous visits to Cambium, I, I had heard about this product, but it wasn't in a physical form yet. Uh, what can you say about this guy? Yeah, it's our... Uh, it's called EPMP 2000. Uh, it will be available next year. Uh, it has uh, two antenna configuration. So there is one antenna for transmit data, only, and another one with a beam steering antenna to receive the data. Uh, beam steering, so you can have very, very narrow beam, the beam form for the specific subscriber, so you can receive the data only from this specific subscriber and avoid the interference from the whole sector. So you are not selecting this is not uh, yeah. interference from 90 degree sector. Yes, uh, and um, like I was uh, told before, this, this isn't just a basic antenna. Uh, there actually is an FPGA inside with intelligence uh, to, to help manage that beam forming. Yeah, there are phase shifters inside which switch small phase antenna. And here you have two radio cables, but these cables also used for signaling, to send signals to control this antenna, and there is power. Yeah, better than the, 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 the uh, a rep cable to power up the smart antenna. Yet, uh, and uh, one would think this would be quite expensive given the existing platforms that have similar features. Um, but I heard it's uh, going to be reasonable. This one. Yeah, it will be reasonable. We are trying to catch up with the price with the current EPMP 1000, but it will add some additional price for the Yet, uh, yeah, I really look forward to doing uh, that up. Most, all my new deployments are currently EPMPs, so having, uh, having this new guy for not much additional cost will be uh, appreciated. And it will be fully backwards compatible, so you can switch your existing uh, PlayStation to the new one, and especially the places where you have lots of interference with power. Uh, does that wrap up uh, kind of what's new from, uh, from your division? Yeah, probably that's it. And uh, right now we are fully integrated in our uh, monitoring system. Okay. Well, uh, thank you very much for your time. Thank you. See you guys later.